the visibly furious trial judge did not mince words on his opposition to prosecution's agreement with Atu Asian. Justice Eric J. Balfour wondered why it has taken the parties this long to reach an agreement after three years of trial. The founder of defunct Capital Bank, together with two others, have been standing trial for various counts of crimes, including stealing. The three are accused of dissipating the 620 million Ghana cities made available to the defunct bank by the Bank of Ghana as liquidity support. The three are said to have made transfers into private accounts linked to them. The trial judge, upon taking the seat to declare the judgment in court, revealed that the agreement came to his notice after he had prepared his judgment. Per the agreement, Atu Asian, who has pleaded not guilty throughout the course of the trial, who plead guilty to the charges of stealing. He has also agreed to pay 90 million Ghana cities as restitution, for which 30 million Ghana cities is to be paid on or before December 1 this year. His lawyer in court revealed that, as part of good faith to the agreement, Atu Asian has already made the initial payment of 30 million Ghana cities to the state. The remainder of the 60 million cities has been agreed to be paid in 2023 in three installments. The prosecution, on the other hand, agreed to the terms. But the Court of Appeals judge, sitting as an additional High Court judge, expressed a strongest opposition to the agreement. The agreement was concluded based on Section 35 of the Courts Act, Act 459. But the judge believes the section cannot be applied to the instance case. According to the judge, restitution can only be provided for persons whose offenses cause financial losses to the state. In the view of the judge, even though the monies were provided for by the Bank of Ghana, the money allegedly stolen belonged to Capital Bank, but the state prosecutors believe the case falls within the ambit of Section 35 of the Courts Act. Per the Courts Act, the agreement ought to be in tandem with the satisfaction of the court. The judge indicated that he was not satisfied with the 90 million Ghana cities asked to be paid by Atu Asian. It was the judge's view that the value of 90 million Ghana cities, which is alleged to have been stolen in 2015, should at least be calculated considering the current exchange rate at 13 Ghana cities. The judge was of the opinion that the deal has a tendency of making crime attractive. The prosecution says the inputs of the judge are welcome. It's a matter of negotiation, and you know, if you are looking at a case involving an accused person, and the person makes a proposal. You also look at the proposal, consider, because let, let's take it. If you take a matter to court, it doesn't mean automatically you're going to have whatever that you are supposed to have. You need to bargain. We came to 19 billion. But they just said, if there's a need to up it or do something extra, we have no problem with it because it's the duty of the judge to scrutinize agreements reached by parties. The court also raised concerns about the timing. The judge questioned why the case has been made to travel for three years only for a restitution deal to be agreed by the state. Prosecution has been clarifying reasons for the delay in reaching the agreement. The accused started making the offers to the Attorney General's office long ago, but we were not comfortable or agreeable to the figures that he was proposing. So that's why it took him all this while up to the last point of the prosecution. And we never relented in our effort to prosecute the accused persons. Despite the overtures that the first accused person made to us, we continued to prosecute the case. We got to the end of the case. Then he brought in this last minute proposal, which we thought was quite reasonable, but of course, subject to the satisfaction of the court. On yeah. December 13, the parties are expected to return to court and make their case as to why this particular application falls under Section 35 of the Courts Act and also justify the terms of agreement that have been reached between the Republic and the first accused person. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajiman.